you've worked for the big promotion and achieved it. Yet, now at the table with other executives, you wonder if you belong. Could it be imposter syndrome? What does that mean? How can you address it and grow in your new role? In her 2021 post on Psychology Today, Dr. Ruth Goshen said something simple yet profound. Dr. Goshen says, the imposter syndrome is a sign of success, not failure. In other words, unsuccessful people don't suffer from the imposter syndrome. I think that is a beautiful way of reframing it. The imposter syndrome is only triggered when we achieve something of note. An award, a recognition, a new job opportunity are all examples of achievements that lead some people to question their worthiness. The fear of being unworthy or not good enough isn't just a passing feeling. Have you ever felt like an imposter? You're not alone. Studies reveal that 70 to 80% of the workforce experiences these feelings regardless of age, gender, or position. I interviewed Dr. Ijeoma Nuogu on the Keep Leading podcast. She refers to it as the imposter experience. She does that because she says that we should move away from referring to it as a syndrome because that is clinical but it's not a psychological disorder. It's a common phenomena that most of us will experience at one point in our lives. So the imposter phenomena, imposter feelings, or simply the imposter experience may be a more healthy way to refer to this. Keeping Dr. Nuogo's suggestion in mind and remembering imposter feelings come only as a result of success can help us. In my experience as an executive coach, working with hundreds of leaders, I believe that it's important for us to stop and take note of our own talents. Write them down, reflect on them. Invite a trusted friend or mentor to share their perspective. Invest in self-care, building your self-esteem, self-worth, and confidence in your abilities can go a long way in aiding you to feel worthy and deserving.